Hi, I'm Diesel, and basically, my dad is a pathetic... So, about six months ago, my parents started acting weirder than normal. Mum would come home from work, make dinner, then dress up and go out again. All dad ever said was, you look nice, have a good time. He acted like he didn't mind, so I just assumed mum was going through some kind of midlife identity crisis. Turned out, she was having an affair. Only dad seemed oblivious to it. Eventually, mum stopped trying to hide the fact that she was seeing some guy from work and began to happily parade her boyfriend around town. It didn't take long for word to get out and soon friends at school were asking if my parents had split up. Somehow, I had to explain that my mum was cheating, but my dad refused to acknowledge it. The questions started out innocently enough, but things quickly turned dark. I'll never forget the time a bunch of jocks started flapping their arms, yelling, cock a doodle do down the hall at me. Hey Diesel, does your dad make the bed after your mum and her boyfriend are finished in it? One asked, while the others cracked up in hysterics. It was only a few days after that when I got home to find mum sitting on the living room sofa, with dad on one side and the douchebag on the other. She was holding both their hands. What the f- I started to protest, but mum cut me off, telling me to sit down. You've probably got a few questions, she said. Mostly just one, Mum. What the actual fuck? She gave me some line about her and Dad loving each other, but him not being man enough to satisfy her. I felt my stomach churning while she officially introduced me to Rudy. Mum explained how they'd been seeing each other for a while, but now they were taking the relationship to the next level. Without batting an eyelid, she told me Rudy would be moving in with us to be a permanent part of our family. You can't be serious. I protested, turning to Dad. And you're okay with this? Before he could reply, Rudy puffed out his chest and said, Your father knows his place, Diesel. This wouldn't have happened if he was more of a man. Plus, your mother is worried you're becoming a pussy. Just like him. You need a proper male role model. I felt the rage boiling up inside me. As I looked over and saw Dad shrinking more and more into the sofa, a single tear fell from my right eye. See? Rudy said. Real men don't cry. Your father's made you soft. Dad, aren't you going to say something? I begged, wanting him to stand up for himself, put up a fight, anything. He took a deep breath, composed himself and said, Diesel, adult relationships aren't always black and white. I love your mother and want her to be happy. If I can't give her what she needs, who am I to stop her from finding it? I sat there, stunned. But then Rudy smiled creepily and said, Don't worry, Diesel. Your dad enjoys watching me make your mum happy. Suddenly, something inside me lurched, and, with projectile velocity, my stomach contents shot out of my mouth. All things considered, I think I handled it rather well. It's been two months now since Rudy moved in and sent my cuck of a dad to the guest room. Everyone keeps assuring me they're happy, but I still can't accept it. Am I right to be upset? Or is this the new normal and I'm just being a giant pussy? Let me know what you think in the comments below.